You know them from Hollywood, actress Rose McGowan and actors River and Joaquin Phoenix. But did you know they all grew up in the same cult, a cult that secluded them from the outside world, exposed them to sex at an early age, and preached the end of times. Author Floor Edwards also grew up in that cult, led by its notorious leader, David Brant Berg. Today, in an exclusive Daily Mail interview, Floor steps forward to reveal the life she lived as one of the children of God. Nobody joins a cult. People join a movement, a belief system, but nobody says, hey, I'm going to join a cult today. People get sucked into it. Flora Edwards was born into the children of God after her parents, looking for purpose in their lives, joined the sect. Founded in 1968 in California by David Brant Berg, who followers called Father David, the children of God believed the apocalypse was at hand. Father David pushed sexual freedom and he even advocated underage sex and sex between adults and children, all of which have been the subject of numerous documentaries over the years. I practice what I preach, and I preach sex, boys and girls, hallelujah. It actually had very innocent beginnings. And Father David, he wanted to change sort of the paradigm of what the traditional church was, the way that they, they viewed the body or the way that they, they viewed sex, he thought was wrong. God created boys and girls able to have children by about the age of 12. My God, now he's going to advocate child and sex. Yes. For a time, Father David also advocated what he called flirty fishing using women members to recruit for the sect. They used their bodies. They would you know, recruit men and have sex with them and sometimes get donations from them. Floor writes in her newly published memoir that she was spared the sexual abuses of the cult, but Father David's preaching about the apocalypse weighed heavy on her. According to the cult leader, the world would end in 1993 when Floor would be a mere 12 years old. I definitely lived my childhood quite terrified of, of death and of the end time. Father David also believed Western civilization was evil, so he sent many of his followers to the Far East, Flor's family included. In Thailand, the children of God grew up in seclusion, cut off from the wider world. We always had to have houses with high walls, and I wasn't allowed to read, write, watch movies, or talk to anyone outside of the group. When the world didn't end, as Father David predicted, he allowed his followers to move back to the States, but then he died a year later. After Father David died, the cult sort of started to disintegrate. Settling in California, Floor says life with newfound freedoms was tough. She began experimenting with alcohol and marijuana. I was just trying to numb any type of, of, of pain. Things were very rough and I did try to take my life. Floor survived an attempted alcohol and painkiller overdose, but some of the children of God weren't as lucky. Ricky Rodriguez was Father David's adopted son. He claimed horrific abuse and documented his downward spiral on home video. There is this need that I have, this need, it's not a want, it's a need, and I wish it wasn't, but it is. It's a need for revenge. In 2005, when he was 29, Ricky Rodriguez stabbed his former nanny to death then shot and killed himself. When he died, it sent shockwaves through the second generation members. Though Floor never met them, other second generation members who were also able to escape the cult included Rose McGowan and River and Joaquin Phoenix. So what does Floor believe is the biggest lesson learned? You must save yourself or you will remain unsaved. A lot of religions, that's part of the downfall is that they kind of look to something else to save them. And I think in the end, we all have to save ourselves. Floor Edwards' memoir, Apocalypse Child, Life and End Times, is out now and is soon to be released as an audiobook.